Is fossil fuels actually crushed forests and dinosaurs, or just the Earth's many failed attempts to create biological life from scratch? Before the adoption of the notion of fossilized trees being the main source of petroleum, the abiotic hypothesis pointed to the principle of the full suite of hydrocarbons found in petroleum being generated in the Earth's mantle via abiogenic processes. Where, it was these source hydrocarbons from those abiogenic processes that eventually leached or migrated out of the mantle into the crust, and they remained trapped there until major earthquakes, or until we released them, in our drilling expeditions to acquire more crude oil, from these underground deposits, for our insatiable energy needs. I know the main question now is, what proof is there that any of this is true? The government, and industrialists of the world couldn't have been lying to us this whole time about oil being from million-year-old forests, from the time of the dinosaurs. Well, unfortunately, the answer is a resounding, yes, they have indeed been lying and keeping you in the dark. Uncovering and exposing the biggest lie ever told in world history. And here is the proof. The largest proved oil reserves in Europe and Asia is located in Russia. The other thing located in Russia is the deepest hole ever dug in human history. Known as the Kola Superdeep Borehole, it was an attempt to dig to the mantle of the planet. They dug down some seven miles into the planet's crust, which is almost as deep as the atmosphere is thick. Unexpectedly, during the dig vast quantities of helium, hydrogen, nitrogen, and even carbon dioxide were found at those depths. The drilling mud that flowed out of the hole was described as boiling with hydrogen and helium. However, this should not have been the case as most of the accepted models regarding the overall structural formation of the planet point to the notion that most, if not all, of the planet's hydrogen and light gaseous elements should have evaporated away into space when the planet was super hot, was being bombarded by meteors and asteroids, and was in a fully molten state billions of years ago. Therefore, such excess levels of atmospheric gases should not be at those depths, especially when approaching the planet's mantle. One of the other intriguing discoveries made within the Kola Superdeep Borehole was the detection of microscopic fossilized plankton some four miles down. These findings were seen as significant because usually fossils are found in mainly limestone, shale slabs, and silica layers much closer to the surface but these microscopic fossils were found encased in organic compounds that remained chemically stable and fully intact despite the extreme pressures and temperatures of the surrounding rocks, which ought to have thermally decomposed those organic compounds, specifically, back into their inorganic constituent parts, or at least turned them into petroleum, crude oil, or hydrocarbons. To add to the final part of this conspiracy, John D. Rockefeller was one of the main architects who pushed the term, fossil fuel, to trick people into thinking that his product was limited and scarce, which drove up the prices. And even now America, Saudi Arabia and Russia, still play the same game of price manipulation, to drive up the price of oil. Even though this thing called petroleum crude oil is still actively, being created by the planet. In furtherance of all this global manipulation, the notion of climate change and global warming is simply about scientists, politicians and nations manipulating data to create a narrative and justification for increased taxation on the public for goods, commodities, services and utilities, while subsidizing the rich, calling it carbon tax, where corporations can buy, sell and trade entire forests, and use it as tax write-offs. When, in actuality the Earth is simply going through one of its natural cosmic and geothermal cycles, where it will get slightly warm for centuries, and then slightly cold for centuries, outside of the Ice Age windows. So, your expensive electric vehicle that Elon convinced you to buy, still won't be running on free sunlight anytime soon, and you are forever going to have to stop by the local charging station which happens to still get most of its power from the abiogenic petroleum crude oil that will continue to be dug from the earth, in perpetuity. Remember to subscribe for more and send us a message if you want more secret knowledge. For all other information resources, please see the links in our bio.